Yeah, health care benefits as well as overtime and the number of hours that they're working daily. And over here at ATI, they have uh, employees, about 2,200, and all of their plants who are locked out. They're on the sidewalks right now. And basically, they want better pay for the hours that they're putting in on the plant. Allegheny Technologies produces stainless steel, but the company is feeling the weight from domestic and global competition, crippling its production. And now ATI workers are squeezed out of the plants and onto the sidewalks. What's your reaction to the way things have gone down over the last several days? I just don't like it. I mean, we're doing what we can out here to pick it, to support all the union brothers and sisters. And now they're kicking us out on the streets, and uh, that's uh, the what we get, you know, for that, you know, we're fighting tooth and nail over there trying to get the new strip mill going. Bragg Bakulik is a third generation worker at the plant. He and other employees are part of the United Steel Workers Union. They have picket lines at several locations at the Brackenridge plant, saying ATI is asking them to work 12 hour days, six to seven days a week with no overtime. The amount of hours they want to force us to work without extra pay, not be able to spend any time with our families because we'll be in here working all these hours. Here's the statement issued by ATI's executive vice president. Quote, our last best and final proposal puts a workable solution on the table, and the union committee has taken no concrete or decisive action on this proposal. The company isn't budging. They don't even want to talk. They haven't talked in I don't know how long. Their last statement was, this is your last and final proposal. In other words, take it or leave it. Now, as unpleasant as this labor dispute is right now and with the picket lines that are going on, the company actually says it is still holding out hope that they can reach a contract agreement and get their workers back inside the plant. Reporting live from Brackenridge, Sheldon Ingram, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.